Hello everyone, welcome to the Jewish Week Online. I'm your host, Aaron Herman. We had the opportunity to speak to Ruth Messenger, American Jewish World Service, about her work and how American Jewish World Service is transforming communities around the globe. Let's take a closer look. American Jewish World Service is transforming communities around the globe. Why did you get involved in this organization? Well, I, the short answer to that is I worked for 20 years in New York City government and then I lost an election and I was looking for the next thing to do. And I had, was offered an extraordinary opportunity, which was to take over American Jewish World Service, which at that point was a small organization, and see what we could become. And I do like to think that we've become an organization that is educating the American Jewish community about global citizenship and then using our resources to make change for the people in the entire world who most need help. And, you know, with the devastation of Haiti, uh, American Jewish World Service is literally on the ground helping those in need with, uh, you know, from the beginning giving those the micro grants. Um, and actually, you know, when the devastation happened, like getting the boats over and doing so much, like, to help those people who are in desperate need of assistance. Take us back. And okay. how, how did, how did how, when, 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 when it happened, when did you get the call, and how do how you mobilize? All right, well, let's take it three steps back. Okay. First of all, our ongoing work is to find people on the ground in the poorest countries in the world who are already making a difference in their own communities. They might be empowering women with microfinance. They might be fighting for women's and girls' sexual and reproductive rights. They might be working with farmers to enhance their right to own the land. We're working with them in partnership all the time. When a disaster happens, such as the earthquake in Haiti, there are several components. One is we already have relationships on the ground, so we know the groups that are doing good work that can help provide relief at the local level without going through all the bureaucratic channels. But second of all, the American Jewish community responds, and I think that's critical. When there's a disaster, we receive lots of help from the American Jewish communities all over the United States. We would get more help from them more of the time if they knew what was happening in the developing world, but it's not often in the newspapers. In the case of Haiti, yes, you're right, it was in the papers. We got a huge financial response, and then what we were able to say was, we have the partners, so we can start work right away, and it's reliable. But also, we're not going to just do immediate short-term relief. We're going to use these funds to help these groups, of course, feed the people who are most hungry this week, but then help them reinvest in their farmland, or bring in the techniques of drip irrigation and crop rotation or argue for the right to land title, which happens not to exist in Haiti, they would make these groups more secure. So we have a short-term and a longer-term agenda. We try to move from disaster to development, and we have a policy agenda in Washington. So when we see a need in the United States in terms of our policy or our program or our budget, we'll rally the American Jewish community to work on those changes that will benefit people around the world. Can you share with us a story that just oh, like was, I'm sure there's hundreds and thousands of stories about it. Can you share a specific story that, that moved you? All right, well, so here's a Haiti story. Haiti was having trouble feeding its own people before the earthquake because the land had been despoiled by people who deforested it because um, American imports were flooding into Haiti and displacing the production of local Haitian farmers. So we were able to intercede in a small way before the earthquake. But then after the earthquake, we were able to work with those groups that are promoting farmer cooperatives, that are helping individual women get title to and take control of their own land. And we were able to bring a couple of the leaders of this emerging civil society in Haiti to Washington, where one of them said at a reception, if I hadn't been here this week, if I hadn't had the chance, thanks to AJWS, to meet with some members of Congress, to talk to staff in the State Department, I would have believed that no one in the United States cared about the people in Haiti. And now I know it. Wow. And what do you say to the younger generation? Uh, the best, how do you get them to get involved? Well, I think the next generation is younger than me, all the way down, really want to get involved and really have a global consciousness. And I want to say a few things to them. One is, 
where possible, do it in a Jewish, to Jews, do it in a Jewish organization, in a Jewish framework, learn Jewish values, learn how they apply to work all over the world, not only with Jews, but with non-Jews. Two, don't ever think you can't make a difference. If you can high sign up for one of our steady service programs and go there for a week or a summer and build the trains, you're making a difference. If you can hold a fundraiser on your campus and send a small amount of money, you're making a difference. So don't, let me put it affirmatively, so accept the obligation, mm -hmm. the Jewish obligation, to make a difference, to pursue justice, and to help heal the world. And you came out with a, a viral video that was, you know, like the certain, the certain things are just like, they actually did it. Like they actually, when you break through, you know, when, you, when you're on Funny or Die, and like, you know, there's different ways to use technology to get your message across. Tell us a little bit about how you're using technology well, in the whole process. Well, I mean, there are two yeah. things. One is that video, we were very lucky. Uh, um, someone who was working with us for our 25th anniversary had a connection to Judd Apatow and asked him if he would do a video. The actual idea for behind that video is Judd's, and he brought right. the talent in to right. get people to say provocatively, what right. is it that we right. the Jew means? Right. And they did a wonderful right. job, right. and we loved it as much right. as they did, right. and as much as our audience right. did. But I would say beyond that, you know, our website is ajws.org. We're using social media. We're using Facebook. I tweet myself, and by all means, sign up, you know, on Twitter to follow me. We want to get the message out to young people, to people on campuses, to people after college, that there are ways to make a difference in the world and that we need their help. As you can see, American Jewish World Service is transforming communities around the globe. This is Aaron Herman. Thank you for watching. Thank you.